Hi, Randy Orr with Berkshire Hathaway and the Orr Group. I want to take you on a community tour to a very special community called Ocean Ranch. Come with me, let's take a look at these beautiful homes. So we're approaching the community of Ocean Ranch. It is a very desirable neighborhood. What's unusual about it is within the gates, it is a gated community and the, the guard is 24-7. Um, there's two entrances. We're gonna go in what is considered the main gate and there is a lower gate and I'll drive by that and show you that as well. But what's unique about this community is the main street that goes through the community divide, divides the two communities, one side being all customs. They were sold as individual lots somewhere in the early 90s, uh, actually 90, 91, 92, 93. It took a while for all the lots to be sold and then built on. In the early 90s, around 1991, 92, is when the residential side on the other side was built. And there are two communities there, one called the executives and the other called the residents. And we're gonna drive through all three. So again, 24 seven guard gated community, considered one of the nicest communities in all of Laguna Niguel. Price range starting in the low two millions up to about 10 million for some of the customs. This is the main street that goes through the community and everything on the right hand side is a custom home, each individually built. There's a little caveat to that and I'll share with you as we drive through that community, the caveat of the collection of homes that are not true customs. Most people have no clue. A lot of residents that live in this community have no clue. But there's about a dozen homes on that side, on the custom side, that were actually all built by the same developer. The developer was Manning. So the Manning company bought about a dozen lots and built semi-custom homes. They're hard to distinguish from the true customs, but they were all built by one developer still considered to be on the custom side. Everything on the left, and we just passed the streets that are considered the residents. The residents are closer to the upper gate and the executives are a little further down, closer to the rear gate. Shea was the developer of this entire community. They graded the land, sold the individual lots for the customs, built both the executives and the residents. So we're almost to the lower gate. It's not a large community. There's a little over 400 total homes in the community. Just coming into view is the lower gate. So that'll give you an idea of the size of the community from gate to gate. I'm gonna make a right-hand turn here on Poppy Hills. Poppy Hills intersects this main street, Bear here and at the top. So we're gonna make a loop and go through the custom community. Some of these homes are pretty magnificent. We're coming upon one that I consider very, very um, identifiable by the landscape and just that that home it's very contemporary very manicured landscape people truly enjoy living in this community so much that I actually listed and sold somebody's home in the executives and moved them to the customs uh, there's a truck unfortunately right in front of the house that I sold but uh, sold this so about oh, about 10 years ago from, uh, to some people who lived in the executives. So I listed their home in the executives and helped them buy this home. Matter of fact, I actually represented the buyer of their executive home as well. So I think what might be helpful is if I drive by this house and stop and tell you a little bit about it so that you have a sense of what the values are in this community. Um, really nice street. Again, all of these are custom homes. No two are alike. So this home right in front of us here is Nine Ebony Glade. I actually sold that home oh, 
a year and a half or so ago. We listed it for $3,650. It actually sold for $3,700. It was on the market about 10 days. The home is on a almost 12,000 square foot lot. The home itself is 4,800 square feet. It's a four bedroom, four bath. To give it some relevance, that home sold when we sold it for $760 per foot. Today, I would say that home would probably be in the low 800s, maybe 820 to 830 a foot, putting it over $4 million. Beautiful, beautiful home inside. So the street we're on right now is called Asilomar. It's the highest street in the community, located right by the front gate, the main entrance. That main entrance gate is located off of Golden Lantern. The rear gate is, um, is located right near a very well-known school, St. Anne's. Yeah, St. Anne's is not within the community. They're just outside that rear gate. Very, very popular private school. Many of the children that grew up in this neighborhood uh, attend that school. You would probably never know unless I told you, but these homes on the right-hand side, these are those homes that were built by Manning. Um, they actually start right here. So these are semi-custom homes. They were all built by one developer, Manning. They're somewhat similar, but not recognizably the same, which gives it pretty custom look for a semi-custom home. And so many of the people that live in this community don't have any clue. Now, at the end of this street are probably two of the largest homes in the community, about 10,000 square feet. They have not recently sold, but at today's values, these homes would probably be straddling somewhere around eight or nine million. They have phenomenal ocean views They're straight ahead in, in this cul-de-sac. The views from these homes are incredible. As I mentioned, everything to the right of the main street there is custom. We're gonna drive through the slightly more expensive and larger homes in the community. This part of the community is known as the residence. There are 100 total homes in the residence. The largest number of homes in the community exist on the custom side. It's actually 165, including the Manning homes. 165 of the customs, 100 of the residents, and 126 in the executives, which we'll go to after we take a look at this community. Homes in the residents are several floor plans, I think five. They range in size from about 3,200, 3,300 square feet to about 4,200 square feet being the largest. A couple of these have sold um, at over 4,200 square feet, I believe right around 45, 46. They found a little room to expand. Typically they add a loft, you know, above and beyond what the builder built the homes as. They'll find an area where they can loft a playroom, a rec room. To give you an idea of a typical home in this community, the residence, this home just recently sold. This is 33 Greystone. Probably didn't command top, top, top value. It's a beautiful home. It's about 4,200 square feet, four bedrooms, four baths. 
it was listed for $3,484,000 and it sold for $3,484,000. And that would be $819 per foot. The reason I say it probably didn't sell for top, top of the market, although it was one of the higher sales. The view is yes of the ocean, but to the left-hand side of the home, you'll get just a little bit of noise from Golden Lantern. Golden Lantern is in that direction. We sit pretty high above the street, but if a buyer had any objection, that might be it. However, the home only lasted two days on the market and sold for full price. So I think the view way outweighed any road noise that you would get from Golden Lantern. Beautiful home. This home was built in 1991, which was pretty typical. These homes were all built out in the very early 90s, 1991, 1992. Uh, maybe a few stragglers into 1993. So we're going to make a left-hand turn off of Bear onto Dorchester Green. And right at this intersection is actually the community center. We don't have a clubhouse in this community and we do not have any tennis courts or basketball courts. Actually, there's a, a kitty lot here with a small basketball hoop and some play equipment. We'll come back here and take a look at the community center, but I wanna drive you through the homes that are known as the executives. The executive homes range in size from about 2,700 square feet. There's four floor plans, the largest being about 3,500 square feet. The largest floor plan in the executives at 3,500 and change overlap the smallest home in the residence. So the continuum would be 2,700 square feet to 4,200 square feet with the separation somewhere right around 3,500 square feet. So we're on Brownsbury Road right now, and we're gonna come upon a home that recently sold, just to give you an idea of values in this community. This home's 3,500 square feet. It is the largest floor plan. I take it back. It's the second to the largest floor plan, but they did do an addition to push it out to square footage equal to the largest floor plan. It's uh, number two Brownsbury. We're gonna take a look at it right here. Four bedrooms, three baths, 3,500 square feet, and a plan three. This home has historically sold for record prices each time it sells. It sold on May of 2021 for 2,085,000. And at that time, that was the record sale for this community. Two years later, it just closed at 3.2 million and that is the record sale for this community. It's very nice inside. The only negative to this home, it has a very small backyard, has an okay view, doesn't have an ocean view, but it does have a, a decent okay view, but a very small backyard. The lot size is 8,200 square feet. A lot of that square footage is because we're on the corner, so they've got that property that is both in front of the house and on the side of the house, adding to the total square footage of the lot, but a little deceiving because the lot size is small. Nonetheless, it sold in about 30 days for a record 3.2 million. Let's take a look at the community center. I'll pull in here. They have a really nice pool. They've got enough lounge chairs and sitting area, like a little picnic area, small little basketball court, and jungle gym equipment for the kids. It's not heavily used. It gets used a fair amount in the summer months, but for the most part, it's not very crowded. So you can come down here pretty much at will and have a, have a real comfortable social time with your family. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Ocean Ranch a wonderful gated community with 24 seven guard gates, rear entrance, front entrance, community center, three subdivisions, the customs, the executives, and the residents. A great neighborhood representing the luxury of Laguna Niguel. Randior with Berkshire Hathaway, changing lives one home at a time.